Here at l'Hôpital du Sacré-Cœur de Montréal in 1980, I was trying to improve arthrography of the shoulder by combining double contrast with tomography. I realized that the periphery of the shoulder was often overpenetrated, obscuring important lesions of the rotator cuff located just underneath the skin. Therefore, I made a mass of resin to contour the shoulder and absorb the rays responsible for the blackening near the skin. The results were encouraging except for annoying air bubbles and the difficulty of holding it vertically. After many tests, I finally succeeded with the boomerang, the name coined by my assistants. To my knowledge, this is the first compensating filter used next to the patient. It was published in Radiology in 1985. Made of silicone rubber, without air bubbles, it adheres vertically to the table with very little pressure. More models soon followed. up to the famous Ridges Plus, which greatly improved digital arteriography of the lower extremities, including the feet. Any new technique requires new information, explaining advantages, particularities, and ways to avoid pitfalls. So I grabbed my camera, designed scientific exhibits, and with my son Jacques, attended the RSNA every year and other important meetings. Properly absorbing a portion of the X-ray beam to even out the density of the image is an art indeed. The problem is this. The main part to be examined is thick. The periphery is thin, precisely where important lesions of tendonitis, fractures, and so forth, are located. Ideally, we would like to surround the thin part, front and back, with a substance having an absorption of one, such as water. Fortunately, it is more practical to use an object having an absorption of two and place it on one side only. To prevent artifacts, do not tear the thin edge with the fingernails. Nor fold it on itself. It gathers dust easily, which makes it slippery. But Wiping it with a wet cloth causes immediate recovery of its adhesiveness. It holds vertically with very little pressure, as here by rotating the shoulder slightly. <laughs>